All right, Killed Reed here, and I got my Galaxy Watch 4 Classic set up on the S21 Ultra on the wearables app. It wouldn't literally let me do anything until I did that. So I'm going to do some oxygen comparison with the watch and the pulse oximeter, and I might do a stress test and a body composition and an ECG as well. But mainly I'm going to focus on the oxygen here and just on health stuff in general. Uh, I will say that this watch does operate off... Uh, Wear OS like Google uh, based so like when you do this let me turn this on make sure it's on okay so swipe up from the bottom and that is what it is now with the main app screen it's no longer ties in where it's the wheel and all that this is what it is and it actually has legit straight up Google Maps like shows where you're at straight up yep and clockwise on the bezel zooms in hey kitty one of my cats wants me to end the video so it can get some fancy feast zooming out is counterclockwise zooming in clockwise on the bezel you can also use your fingers I think I've had a harder time doing it but it has worked That's not going to do it right now. But you can use your fingers too to pinch uh, and zoom in and zoom out as well. So actual Google Maps. Now there's no satellite mode so you're not going to see like the actual trees and all that shit. But your actual location in real time in uh, Google Maps interface is on the watch now. So I like that. And that's like a fingerprint magnet and i got to wipe that down. It's probably not going to go away all the way. <laughs> so my fingerprints are probably still going to be on this screen. Yeah, I'm going to do some oxygen comparison with the pulse oximeter. And a body composition reading. Okay, so let's turn this on. This is the pulse oximeter. And let's go to the, oh yeah, the oxygen, blood oxygen. And just so I can get this barely in camera frame so I'm gonna put this on turn this on put it on and turn it on alright now let's do it yeah no kitty I'm gonna give him a bunch of fancy feast here in a minute we're 97 on the pulse ox already Oh, dead on, 97, 97, that is cool, 82 BPM, 81 BPM, right here, that is cool, huh, so, with the pulse ox still on, let's do another one, I'm not expecting it to be dead on again, it'll probably change on the watch right now, 98, 97, one point difference, still 97 on the pulse ox. We've got an 84 BPM there, and we got an 81 BPM right here. So, let me take the pulse ox off for a second. I'm going to hit measure on this for a few seconds first, and then put the pulse ox on, and see how it holds up with the accuracy when I'm, you know, uh, timing it differently. So, here we go. That's already starting to measure for a little bit. Now let's put the pulse ox on. Ninety nine on the watch, ninety seven. That's a two point difference when you time it differently right there when you force the elements like that so you can get a two point difference right there that's the most difference I've seen which ain't bad at all for one being an actual medical device that doctors use and one being a smartwatch okay let's just do one more here let's let the pulse ox get on there we go so that now that's the last reading that's not right now so let's measure. That first one was dead on. I was surprised by that. Ninety-nine, 
98, 97 again, so one point difference. I'm liking that. So let's do it again, back to back. Let's not give the watch any time. Just force it to do it again. 96 there on the uh, pull socks. Seven on the pull socks. 98 again, 98, 97. A lot of one point differences. Once again, let's force the watch quicker, quicker. 96 right there on the pull socks. I wish the continuous reading of the oxygen mode would be on the watch. They do it with the heart rate, and you can read it continuously, but with the oxygen, it's just one reading um, at a time. Ninety nine, ninety seven. Liking that. No more than a two point difference I've seen. One of them, the first one, was dead on. And I got a few one point differences. We got ninety seven, ninety six right here. It's another one point difference. It was fluctuating more on here because this is more sensitive. It's like I said, it reads it continuously, unlike the watch. The only thing the watch reads when it comes to health continuously at all times is your heart rate. Um, I wish either a future model like the watch five or whatever, or an update on here on this one, the watch four series, they would add continuous mode for oxygen not one reading at a time, continuous, turn it into a pulse ox almost. Um, uh, that's probably a far cry right now, but you know, you gotta take what you can get. So let's do one more here, let's hit measure. We got 98, 97. Once again, I'm seeing all these 98, 97s. That's still only one point difference. There's a two. There's a 98. The watch loves 98. <laughs> My watch loves telling me it's 98. So let's let it let's let it sit for a minute or so. 96 on the pulse ox right there, keeping the pulse ox on. 97. Let's see what happens now. We're at 95 on the pull socks there. Get a three point difference, maybe. 98, 96. Which, when you're in the mid upper 90s, a two point difference to me is not that bad at all. Given it an A minus so far, the first reading, as you saw, was dead on. I thought that was interesting. We got another one point, 98, 97 again. Damn, the, the watch must know something the pulse ox don't. <laughs> 98, blood oxygen saturation there all the time. But if they would add continuous mode like to this where you could just read your oxygen continuously just like you can with your regular pulse, that would be awesome. <laughs> we could have a better comparison. Like both of them would operate the same way. You know, but good luck with that. So the pulse ox just now coming on. Let's see what the pulse ox does when I'm barely giving it any time to get ready. Ooh, 97, 98, 97. Ninety-eight, ninety-seven, and it switched to ninety-six. 
the last second there when I was about to take this thing off. So that's between a one, two point difference there. I'm noticing a one point difference. Uh, there was one that was dead on the first one. But mainly I'm noticing a, a one to two point difference on the oxygen more often than not. Which still, when you're dealing with a smartwatch and an actual medical device that doctors use, that is pretty good. I'll give that an A minus in my book. So now, let's do an ECG. These things are really sensitive. So I really got to shut up. We got a sinus rhythm. That's a normal rhythm. I'm liking that a lot. This ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. Well, I'll take that any day. <laughs> 